Good Tuesday evening. We continue to stay under cloudy skies. We've had drizzle throughout a good portion of the day today, and that doesn't get picked up by the radar because the moisture particles are just a little bit too small. Now what we do pick up are some little pockets of measurable light rain north of Statesboro heading into Screven County as well as over to Hampton. Look for more of that to develop, especially the northern parts of the area as we head through tonight. There's a weak weather system that's going to be pushing across and heading through the Carolinas too as we head through the overnight. So you see a little more rain developing up in that area as well. Let's check out what we're tracking here as we head through the night. Notice the areas of green here picking up a bit again, especially north of I-16 through midnight and then it heads more toward north by tomorrow morning, leaving behind clouds and the clearing that tries to work in, but I don't think it's going to quite be able to make it. So we'll stay mostly cloudy. I know it shows a little bit clearing, but it still looks like we're going to be cloudy right on through your Thursday. But watch after Thursday, we finally get the clouds to clear on out as dry air punches in. And so the sun will be set to return just in time for your weekend. How about that? Rainfall for tonight, very light, a few hundreds of an inch, if that, across the area. A lot of places just will continue to see some drizzle or mist out there. The best chance of seeing a little bit more in the way of rains in the northern parts of the area, but again, that's not going to be anything heavy. Now, if you happen to be traveling north tonight, there may be some areas of freezing drizzle or freezing rain across mainly North Carolina, so keep that in mind. There could be some pockets of ice on bridges places like I-95, and again, that's going to be pretty far to our north. I think it's going to affect us in our area here. Temperatures are in the 30s up there in North Carolina, 40s just to our north, and that cool air is going to ooze south overnight, so our temperatures are going to get colder, and the next couple of days are going to be colder than what we had today. It looks like we'll wake up to about 42 degrees in the morning under cloudy skies. Temperatures will be hard pressed just to reach the low 50s tomorrow afternoon as the clouds hang tough across the area. Here are your next tides. We've got a high tide tomorrow afternoon right around 230. Out on the water, we've got small craft advisory conditions for tonight and the first part of tomorrow. Here's the latest pollen report. Mold still remains high. Everything else is either low or absent. Well, now let's look ahead to that weekend. It's looking brighter as we get into Saturday. Sunshine in the high of 64. Sunday, we'll have part of the mostly cloudy skies and a high of 66. So we're going to enjoy some milder afternoons heading through your weekend. Your storm tracker seven day shows as we get closer to Martin Luther King Day, we'll have sunshine and a high of 60. So it should be good weather for the parade. Just a little cool in the morning. Temperatures not too far from 40. Before that, we're going to get rid of the clouds first and then the sun returns as we head into your weekend. Keep it right here. We've got plenty more coming up after the break.